There's been a lot of controversy about the PSA blood test that's used to screen for prostate cancer. Apparently, it generates a lot of false positives that can lead to unnecessary biopsies. Still, there's no question the test helps save lives. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports. The PSA blood test measures a protein that's found only in the prostate, a walnut-sized gland located between a man's bladder and the urinary channel. If the PSA is abnormal, it could indicate a problem. Could it? So Morris County urologist Greg Zimmerman is advising his patient, Joe Sargent, to have a PSA blood test. It's time. Joe is 50, the age at which annual screening is recommended. It's age 40 for men with a family history of prostate cancer or for African-American men. So it's important to get a baseline and then continue to check the PSAs and see how they're doing over time. Joe is on board with it. The blood draw was quick and painless. All the information out there is that early detection is the key um, to a long life, a long and healthy life. But recent studies have generated controversy about the value of the PSA blood test, especially for men whose PSA is in the normal range, under 4.0. But Dr. Zimmerman says the PSA blood test is a critical tool. I think we have to do the PSA. It's very valuable. It's the interpretation, how you use the PSA, which is the most important. 57-year-old Joseph Riggs is a case in point. His PSA began with 1.0, which is well within the normal range. A year later, it was only about 2, which is still normal. However, what's important is that it did rise. It actually doubled in one year's time. A biopsy revealed stage 2 prostate cancer. 18 months ago, Joseph underwent robotic surgery to remove his prostate gland. Let's breathe normally. For me, whether it was early stage, mid stage, or, or late stage, the, the word cancer has an impact on, on all of us. But a rising PSA level doesn't necessarily mean cancer. Often it means there's an infection or a benign condition in which the prostate is enlarged, a condition called BPH. When the prostate becomes enlarged, what it can do is it can squeeze the urinary channel. When it does that, you get symptoms. These symptoms can be a slow stream going to the bathroom more often than you should, getting up at night many times. With prostate cancer, however, there often are no symptoms. That's why a PSA blood test and digital rectal exam are so important. This is the only way that we can feel the prostate to see if it's normal. To men who might be squeamish about the rectal exam, this prostate cancer survivor says, get over it. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Denville.